Yeah, this is a bit of an update um, on the Raspberry Pi project. So I've got the, um, I received the version 4 of the Raspberry Pi today. I've got a couple of them actually. This one's got 4 gigabyte of uh, built-in RAM. It's definitely improved the speed on the uh, processing power compared to the uh, 3 point uh, the 3 plus now um, <clears throat> I've got to connect it connected to a normal monitor at the moment because the little this the the, um, the software it doesn't seem to be fully compatible with the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 yet so it's a little bit buggy at the moment so I've connected it up to my standard uh, computer one of the computer monitors in here just for the purpose of the exercise. So at the moment we've got everything set to uh, pretty much minimum there. Um, but we can increase the uh, waterfall speed quite dramatically. That's maximum waterfall speed there. Oh, nearly maximum, that's maximum there. So it's definitely faster on the waterfall speed than what it used to be with the other one. Um, also, the <coughs> sampling rate. At the moment, we're looking at 500 kilohertz. We'll move that to 2 megahertz. It works fine there, no problem. Sample rate up to 5 megahertz wide. Still working fine, no problems there at all. Sample rate to 8 megahertz. It's still working fine. We'll go up to 10. Surely it can't take much more of this. Okay, it's doing 10 megahertz. So there you go. Uh, we'll go back to 2 megahertz. Now the actual... Um, this rate can be adjusted here as well on the side. So if you set it on to full, you can see it's still quite reacting quite fast. And that's at the very low end. Somewhere in the middle about there is probably about right. So yeah, the, the Raspberry Pi 4 definitely has some uh, processing power. Can definitely run Cubic SDR. The only problem is I'm having some problems with the sound now. And I'm also having uh, problems with uh, running the little, um, the little uh, panel there. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can figure out the uh, the panel. I think there's a couple of extra lines of code you need to write in there and that'll solve that. I don't know about the uh, the audio sound though. Um, this one appears to have no sound at all at the moment. So yeah I don't know what's with that. But as I say I do have a funny feeling that the uh, this uh, updated Pi 4 software is a little bit buggy. Um, so anyway, possibly have to wait for the next update or whatever. Anyway, that's it for now.